my name is Kathleen Lesson. I'm a lymphedema therapist and board certified massage therapist. And this video is a little bit of a deeper dive for my fellow manual lymphatic drainage therapists on breast implant illness. So this is um, a issue that you might come across if the client is coming to you after their explant surgery, after they've had a capsulectomy removing the breast implant and the capsule around it. You may see on their health history form, then they may tell you that they had this operation because they have breast implant illness. So let's take a little bit of a detailed look in what breast implant illness is. Um, so let's look at the report, medical device reports for systemic symptoms in women with breast implants from the Food and Drug Administration. So the FDA reviewed their medical device report database and looked at reports posted between January 1st, 2008 and June 30th, 2023. And they looked at saline or silicone filled breast prosthesis. And they looked at event narratives that included one or more of the terms listed in Appendix A, and we're gonna get to the whole long list of terms in Appendix A, or one of the following terms or phrases, BII, breast implant illness, generalized unexplained illness, or unexplained systemic symptoms. The average age cited in these reports was 42.4 years of age. The average time uh, to onset was 5.4 years with a range of sometimes it was zero years since their breast implant and sometimes it was up to 42.5 years since they had breast implants before they this the report was filed and these symptoms were spoken about. So the top five systemic symptoms, and all of these are mentioned, at least 20% of the reports are fatigue, joint pain, anxiety, brain fog, and autoimmune illnesses. So these are the big five that we're going to see our patients talk about. We're going to see possibly in their health history form. And if we don't see them in the health history form, um, we will see them in potentially the medications on the health history form that the client is taking. So let's look at uh, what the FDA was cited in the Appendix A. Appendix A offers a list of over 80 search terms relevant to systemic symptoms referred to as BII. And this is gonna be a long list, but let's go through it. Acid reflux, ear ringing, premature aging, adrenal issues, early menopause, inflammation, rash, allergy, easy bruising, insomnia, Raynaud's disease, allergies, EBV, reflux, anxiety, fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, joint pain, scleroderma, frequent urination, shortness of breath, gallbladder issues, leaky gut, SIBO, gastritis, libido issues, candida, fatigue, liver issues, sinus issues, chest discomfort, fever, lupus, Sjogren's syndrome, choking, feeling like you're choking, gastrointestinal issues, Lyme disease, GERD, memory loss, slow healing, connective tissue issues, GI issues, a metallic taste in the mouth, slow muscle recovery, cough, hair loss, migraines, constant throat clearing, dehydration, Hashimoto's, multiple sclerosis, thyroid issues, depression, headaches, muscle pain, tingling, difficulty swallowing, heart pain, night sweats, dry eyes, heart palpitations, numbness, toxic shock, dry hair, heart rate issues, pancreatitis, urinary tract issues, dry skin, hormonal issues, panic attacks, vertigo, parathyroid issues, IBS, 
and yeast, just to name some of them. And in the links uh, in the description below this video, I'll show the link so you can link and see this full report from the FDA, including this Appendix A with all the various symptoms that have been listed in the medical device reports for systemic symptoms in women with breast implants.